Hello everybody, Steve LG here. I'm going to be demonstrating a modification to the mask I just developed the other day. Of course, I've seen many versions of these on the internet. Um, my goal is to make the lightest weight, simplest design that actually works well. What I mean by that is, by trying this out as I made it, I discovered my glasses tend to fog up a lot. And so, I added a piece of paper towel and just cut out, cut it out to be more of a square shape. Just folded it over, and uh, that that not only makes the mask more comfortable, it did reduce the the steaming. However, it it's not as superior in uh, function as a cloth mask. They they are comfortable and they don't uh, give you the problem with the steam. Now here's the thing, it's springtime and what's going to happen soon is the wind's going to pick up and the rain's going to come, even more snow and sleet. The cloth mask won't work as efficiently and it'll be uncomfortable if it gets soaked from the, from the water. So there is a use for a plastic cover such as this and that is to keep, to act as like a shield a cover for the cover. Okay, so we're going to develop a new method of cutting out this mask. And I'm going to start with how we're going to do it. Okay, so I'm going to go from my ear with two fingers. I'm taking my 30 centimeter ruler and I put it on the edge of my two fingers, roll it across my face. And it's park it on my cheek and take two fingers put it on my ear and make note of that spot on the ruler okay uh, 21 centimeters and take my bottle I'm just gonna mark it approximately put a mark uh, put the ruler the other way. Oh, just make it work. Roll it around. 21 centimeters. I can see it. Okay, you don't have to be exact. I can see it. I'm just going to put a tip there because I know it's there. And keep it in line with my other tick. For height. Oh, see ya. Okay, there. There. I'm going to find center of those two marks. So from my center mark, I'm going to take a cup and line the handle up with that center mark without dropping the cup. You let it hang on its spout. and you can just draw a nice arc like that and I didn't get any marks on the cup okay so now what I have is a width a nose bridge and to do, I guess I could do it now. Where's the center? Oh, yeah. There's a center. Doesn't matter. Center, center. Now this for me, okay, 10, 11, 12 centimeters. I actually think 11 centimeters would have been better. So I'm going to go from the opposite of my center mark there to here. Roll it down. Put my tick there. There's my 11.
So see that? I press down on it, hold it straight. Straight, press down, draw a line. Basically, there's what I'm going to cut out. Okay, so I, put, I think it's worth mentioning. Uh, it's not a video of how to cut things out. I'll show you how I just rough out the shape first. Okay. that mess. Okay, we're getting closer to what we need. There's my arc. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go straight to my arc. I still haven't made a perfect cut and I'm gonna go straight out. So I'll trim that up. Let's see now. Now I'm just keeping like a, a th two or three millimeter, three sixteenths. Space. So, I want this straight up and down. I should have given a reference. I can do it because I can see it. I can see the, the a straight line off the radius. So I'll just do it. But you might want to put the mark in the first place. And one more time. Straight up and down. Okay. Round your edge off. That's good. Round your edge off. Straight around. I should have drew that full length. So these are little things you can do when you do yours. Pay attention to that. Okay, there. So I'll go three fingers down. Three fingers down. Down. I can see it there. Maybe we should put it back here. Okay, there. Hold it flat on the table. I'd say that's that's gonna cover my chin there. For sure. Just mark here. Mark there. Two ticks equal. I'm going to go to that. Cut, cut to it. So take that piece you just cut off, bring it to the other side like that, line it up. Mark here, put a mark there, cut toward your marks. Okay. Round your corner. I'm just going to round the corner and take an additional 3 sixteenths off to get rid of that blue mark. There. 
you know what? I'm going to get rid of that arc too. So I'm going to take three, three sixteenths and round the corner again. Go across. I want to get rid of my marker. That's that's all. You could have done this in the first step, but I just did it. Okay. Okay. There's no burrs. As long as there's no burrs, it won't get hung up on your your cloth mask. Okay. Ready for holes. This is uh, something you've seen in the first video. There's my where my radius. If the bottle laid flat, in fact, there that helps. Okay, let's use our tools. Lay it flat. See, that's the radius. Lay it flat. Put a mark. So radius flat and there. Put a mark. I'll just check, is that gonna be even? Yes it is. The key. A good hole puncher. So that's going to be for your for your string, your rubber, your uh, lanyard, uh, flexi material, whatever you're going to use to uh, tie it up with. In fact, you might even be able to clip that to your cloth uh, mask. In fact, that's what you should do. Uh, paper clip it or pin it to your uh, cloth mask. That's that's the option. But this is the cover. You still want breathing room, so. I'm going to put a one, just a series of holes across the top, and that will allow steam to exit freely from your breath. Oops, I'll show you this. Yep, a few more. Do whatever pattern you like, you can be creative not interfering with the performance of the mask really uh, I mean the rain will be the majority of the rain will, will be stopped from getting into the mask uh, or you don't have to do this I'm just thinking it will still need some exhaust at the top or else you'll still have problems with your glasses fogging up Perhaps shouldn't have done this. A few across the bottom, just to relieve pressure when you when you breathe out. Okay, and that's about it there. You know what? You might want to experiment first. Uh, not putting that those holes across the top and if it is fogging up is a problem then add some holes how's that sound basically now you've got a wider mask something that will cover the cloth mask better and uh, hopefully prevent it from getting soaked in uh, the blowing wind in the rain so just to show you the fit with glasses Okay, oops, that's okay. And it would, it would help your uh, cloth mask from getting wet. And there you go.